they found a new batch of classified documents in Biden's garage. In fact, one of the videos of him showing off his Camaro in his garage, you can see a pile of documents just stacked, unlocked, just right there. But l listen to this exchange. I mean, this is absolutely... I, I talk about how not to handle the press. I mean, Biden's awful when it comes to handling the press and why he never takes questions himself. But wow, I mean, just this is... Oh, man, this is great. Okay. Classified, classified material next to your Corvette. What were you thinking? Let me, uh, the, I'm going to get a chance to speak on all this, God willing, soon. But as I said earlier this week, people, and by the way, my Corvette's in a locked garage. Okay? So it's not like you're sitting out in the street. So the but anyway. Street was in a locked garage. Yes, as well as my Corvette. Um, but uh, as I said earlier this week, people know. I take classified documents and classified material seriously. I also said we're cooperating fully and completely with the Justice Department's review. As part of that process, my lawyers reviewed other places where documents in my, uh, of, from my time as vice president were stored, and they finished the review last night. They discovered a small number of documents of classified markings and storage areas and file cabinets in my home and my, in my, my, my personal library. This was done in the case of the Biden Penn. This was done in the case of the Biden Penn Center. The Department of Justice was immediately, as was done, the Department of Justice was immediately uh, uh, notified. Okay, he can't talk, right? All right, so he starts going through things, saying, "Oh, everyone's notified, so it's not a big deal." Dude, you're, you lay lay this out. Trump was the president when he moved those documents to Mar-a-Lago. Therefore, he had the ability to declassify wherever the hell he wanted to declassify. So when he says all the documents there were declassified by me when I moved them out, he has an argument there. Biden, this is from when Biden was the uh, VP for Obama. He does not have the ability to declassify classified documents, and yet he left classified documents at a random think tank. He left them in the garage of his house. Not even in lock and key, like he said, oh, the garage door was locked, you know, like my Corvette. Listen, my garage door is locked too, but I'm not going to put my nice computer in the garage, right? I'm not going to trust it being safe in there. It's not the same. It's just not the same. It just, the way he has, just, oh, oh yeah, it was locked in my garage, uh, you know, like my Corvette was. Yeah, it, it just, <laughs> How many more are we going to find? Are we going to find more of this? He said, he said they also found something in his study. How does he not know there? Or how does he not know they're there? How did he not know all that was already there? And again, he didn't have the power to declassify documents like Trump had. And I said on Tuesday that I think that almost every politician has classified documents somewhere in their house. Because, listen... As much as we want to act like everyone should be, you know, you should do right when it comes to all the red tape and bureaucracy that they have to, you know, go under. The reality is that's just simply not the case. Everyone, everyone finds ways to cross that line all the damn time. It's just a reality. Every politician has classified documents in their house because some people want to take, or not want to, guess what you have to, you have to take your work home with you. I, I get it. But we're playing on unequal playing fields right now. Trump has a few classified documents that he claims he declassified when he was president. Well, he was president. So guess what? He declassified him. And he gets raided by the damn FBI. He forgets that he has documents that he has no power to declassify. He forgets that he has documents over in one of his think tanks. Oh, so, you know, nothing really that big of a deal. It's only a few documents. Finds more documents in his garage. Finds more documents in his study. And where's the FBI? Where is the FBI raiding Joe Biden? Where's the people calling for his resignation? Where's the people saying he's selling American secrets overseas? Which, I mean, let's face it, I, I think he probably kind of is over to China as well as, uh, you know, some of his business dealings that he even admitted to when it comes to Ukraine. But nothing. No, no, just silence. Silence. Absolute insanity. I, I do love this meme that's right down here. <laughs> just the, you know, salesman meme. You can fit so many classified documents in here. <laughs> that's just, that's fantastic. That, that's just fantastic. It's just amazing. Talk about a double standard.
I just want to ask you right now, just how many more documents do you think we're going to find? How many more just caches of documents are we going to find with Biden? And how long till they just start reporting on it as well to the point we have to really, really dig for it, right? I'm just, oh my God, it's just, it, it's so, it's just so insane that we're at this point now. This man just, just dementia ridden Biden, not now just losing the documents out of the blue. Oh, I didn't even know they were there. I didn't know they were in my garage. I didn't know they were in my study. I didn't know they were over at this think tank. Trump at least had them under lock and key at Mar-a-Lago and knew exactly where they all were. And again, I, I, I talked to my friend who's a far, I don't want to call him far leftist really so much so, but he's definitely a leftist. And I remember telling him constantly that they keep making me defend Trump. Like I, I didn't like Trump during the primaries. I didn't vote for Trump during the primaries. My ideal candidate would have been Rand Paul. I just knew he would never have shot. I voted for Ted Cruz during the primaries. And I know people will give me crap about voting for Ted Cruz, but for the most part, I feel like he's a constitutionalist. I like the guy, but you know, my, my preferred candidate, someone like Rand Paul, but he didn't have a chance, but I gave Trump a chance. And, you know, for the most part, I have a lot of disagreements with the guy. You know, he did stuff like the bump stock ban, which is absolutely awful. He saw what he did when it came during COVID, you know, he encouraged people to do crazy crap like lockdowns. Listen, I'm not a full Trump supporter. I think he, I, I predicted this back in 2008. I, I'm very proud of this. I said back in 2008, when someone asked me, because this was back when, you know, the um, Apprentice was still really big and stuff. They asked me, what do you think if Trump won or Trump ran for office? What do you think he would be like as president? And I said, he's the kind of guy who would make big government run more effectively, but he would not shrink the size of government. And that's exactly what he did when he was in office. Just boom, 2008 me was 100% right on him. He made a big government run very, very effectively and did a really good job with it. But he didn't really reduce the size of government that much. He was not really a constitutionalist. He didn't believe in dispersing the powers back to the states. He didn't believe in, you know, just straight up getting rid. He's not libertarian in any any form whatsoever. But overall, he did a decent job as president. But they keep making me defend Trump again and again and again. And here I am now still having to defend him because as much as I don't like the fact that, of course, he had all these documents still at Mar-a-Lago, I don't like really the fact that any politician does that crap. It is nothing compared to what Biden did. And now I'm sitting there having to defend Trump all because it's just, they have gone so crazy. They've just gone so insane. Now I'm over here now defending a president that I, I was kind of so, so on in the first place. However, if he does make it to 2024, I'll, I'll probably, or, you know, I'll probably still vote for him. <laughs> 